Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dino Plays Modded Minecraft. Um, I believe this is episode 29. Thanks for joining me. In the previous episode, we were working on the quarry and doing some things to expand um, our resources, and then we uh, started working on some preparations for um, our ME system, which we're hoping to craft here fairly soon since we're going to need that space to store all of the loot we're going to get from the quarry. And I've gone ahead and turned it back on, so hopefully it's starting to collect some materials for us. Um, don't see anything quite yet, so might have to go check on that. It should be okay, but um, yeah, I'll go look, on, look into that here in a moment. Um, so yeah, in this episode, I want to start... Um, working on our liquid XP farm and our zombie, our zombie mod trap and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you'll notice I took away our telepad. Um, like I said, until they get that fixed, I really don't want to use it because it messes up the resolution of the screen. And I went ahead and replaced it with the travel anchors, which I showed you before. Um, I don't recall if I actually um, showed you, you know, showed myself crafting them, but um, I crafted several and I went ahead and put one in here, one up in the blacksmith shop, I believe, and one in our energy factory. And I actually tried putting one in the village, but that's actually too far away. So we'll go ahead and look at the recipe once again. Travel anchor. And um, it really wasn't too bad. You needed this pulsating crystal, which is um, just pulsating iron nuggets. You get this from, I believe, putting a, an ender pearl together with a piece of iron in the, um, uh, what is it again? Let's see if I can find it real quick for us. Boy, that's being difficult. Yeah, right here in the alloy smelter. And then you get these uh, pulsating iron. So, so pretty pretty easy to get, actually, if you have the material. And then, um, then you surround it by um, a diamond, and then you get this pulsating crystal. And once you have those, you just do these conduit binders, which we've done many times before. Pretty common um, recipe um, in the Ender IO uh, uh, mod pack. And then, um, and then just iron. So not not really that bad. And then you get one. So I went ahead and crafted um, three of them. Tried one of them in the um, village over there. And you know, as I said, um, it's a little too far. So I don't know. There obviously is a distance limitation on it, which sort of makes sense because when you stand on it, you've got to be able to see them in the distance, right? So, and then and then you basically just jump and. Um, and then you'll teleport to that location. So obviously the village is just too far away to see, to see the block. So, um, but I did go ahead and set it up in our local area so we can get back and forth between our major buildings pretty quickly. So that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and show you some stuff that I've done to start preparing for, um, start preparing for uh, our liquid XP farm. Oh, you know, I I, I think I still I'm still in peaceful from uh, the test world. So let me go ahead and change that real quick. Yep, I am. I always forget to set it back. Yep. See, here's the other one. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and go upstairs because let me show you what I've been working on. So I I went ahead and expanded out the sidewall area here as I've kind of talked about a little bit before, and then created this nice big. Um, open room over here, and this is where I'm going to set up our um, facility for processing our, our liquid XP. Um, I forget what the specific blocks um, and machines are, but there's a whole bunch of them that are available from the liquid XP mod. Um, Imibis is liquid XP mod, I believe. Um, is that right? Yeah, see, so yeah, there's all these um, things you can do with liquid XP. Here's the XP isolator, XP combiner, liquid XP chanter and printer, all these cool things. And we'll learn more about these 
mod um, these machines in the near future. But to be able to take advantage of those, the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a bunch of liquid XP. So to do that, we need to set up our, um, our XP farm. And if you'll notice over here, I've got an elevator. Whoop, wrong. And if we'll go down. And what I've done is I've built a nice big fat room underneath the room up above that we're going to put our machines in. And I put a very, very large iron tank down here. I started crafting it, but I haven't finished it yet. I wanted to finish it with you guys. Um, but it was a lot of off-camera work because it's just a bunch of boring digging here. And I put Spot to work, our trusty um, turtle. And put Spot to work down there, and he dug out a nice big room for us. Thank you, Spot. And um, did all the crafting with the iron plates and all that kind of cool, cool stuff from Railcraft to construct our... Um, iron tank just need to use these um, tank gauges to finish the room or to finish the uh, the tank so let's go ahead and do that real quick and uh, pardon me a second while I do a little bit of this tedious work here but um, maybe while I'm doing this, I'll try. Well, I can kind of explain what my thought process is here. So what I'm thinking we might want to do is go ahead and set up that zombie um, spawner over near our original quarry location and set it up such that we're spawning all the um, um, zombies and then um, going ahead and collecting the XP using Liquid XP's collector, and then that should um, allow us to um, pump the Liquid XP then into this tank here using a remote I.O. block that will teleport that Liquid XP into this guy. So anyway, that's the thought process. Um, the only drawback initially, of course, is just going to be that you sort of have to be um, in the local area for the mobs to spawn, right? So um, ideally, we would want to um, take advantage of um, Soul Shards um, mod and be able to um, basically craft our own spawner. And if we get enough of the kills, then we can actually do that without ac actually having to be nearby. And it also gives you some other cool capabilities like um, um, being able to turn it off and the speed associated with the spawning and all that kind of cool stuff. So we'll want to ultimately do that, but for now we'll just take advantage of what we have available. Um, why can't I reach that? Oh, there we go. So yeah, so that's the idea. And I don't think that's going to be um, that hard to do, especially since we have... Um, the existing um, spawner, we can just, you know, use that um, guy to go ahead and collect all the kills we would need to get our um, zombie soul shard and craft our own spawner. Um, but until that time, we can just, uh, you know, be AFK a little bit and collect some XP this way. So, voila. Sweet. Oh, and I had extra. I'm always miscounting. <laughs> oh well, what else is new? So what do we got here? So we have 10.3 million. I wanted to create the biggest tank that I possibly could for the XP since um, we can take advantage of uh, Soul Shards um, or maybe it's Soul Craft Reborn. I forget <laughs> which mods it is. There's a couple of them. But, um, but this will work and then we can just um, a miner was slain by a zombie. Really? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's something else I'm going to need to do here really soon. I was just thinking about it the other day where um, our village is really not fortified. And we need to get a... Um, let's go sleep the night off. We really need to get a... Uh, oh, boy. What are you doing here? Let's take care of this guy real quick. Where are ya? 
that side? Probably. Oh, he's gonna be difficult. Um, fine. Over here. Gonna follow me? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, yep, he is. Well, sneaky bugger. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? It's upstairs. It's probably upstairs. No. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and sleep. Assuming that I can. He might be too close. Can I sleep? Nope. Oh, darn it. Where are you? Is he up on the roof? Oh, he is. I still didn't get him. Is he back on the roof again? Oh, there he is. Oh, he, oh. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, and I didn't get anything out of that kill. I probably didn't even get the kill itself. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Oh, well. A slight little diversion there. But I'm kind of concerned. I don't want our villagers to get all destroyed by these um, by the zombies out there. So I want to put Iron Golem in there if I can real quick. Sorry for the diversion, guys. But that's probably going to be important. Do I have enough iron? Because I used a ton of iron for that iron tank. Um, iron, iron, iron. Okay, good. I've got I've got iron. And let's get the rest out of here. Open. There we go. So I think I need 27, right? I do believe. Yep. And then we need a pumpkin. Well, it's well, I need four, don't I? One, two. Yeah, I need four. I don't have enough, do I? Okay. There, that should be enough. Okay. And then a pumpkin, right? Very good. Let's go ahead and do this really quick. Where did I put all the... Wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, I was blind for a minute. <laughs> I said, I've got to have some in there because I know I have a little pumpkin farm outside. Okay, let's go do this real quick. Um, another thing I wanted to do, but I, I don't want to take up all of our time in this particular episode, is um, I wanted to convert. So that's what that miner was slain. And I really don't need the miners anymore, to be honest with you. Um, so I was going to go ahead and convert the miners over to, um, um, I don't know, I think they're called fighters or warriors, something like that. Are you guys okay? Good. Let's get this guy going. And I think the miner was down in the, in the um, cave system over there, remember? Over in that corner. And so that's probably why he got killed, because he was kind of underground. In the dark. Ah, sweet. Okay. All right. So now we've got at least one iron golem, and then I'll go ahead and convert a couple of other useful villagers. Yeah, boy, these guys are taking a lot of damage. He's okay. But I'll um, yeah, here's some useful villagers over here. I'll I'll uh, turn them into what are they called again? They're oh, it's kind of weird. Um, chain profession soldier that's what it's called so I just need to turn that minor um, uh, guild house to a soldier guild house give them a couple of iron swords or a couple swords and they'll be good to go and then on top of our iron golem we'll actually have some um, soldier villagers that can actually kill zombies 
And the helpful villagers actually heal as well. So even if they get hit a couple times by the zombies, they probably won't die. And with their swords, they'll be able to kill those zombies. And then they'll slowly heal over time as well. So that way we won't lose our, our really important villagers for trading. So that's good. Not exactly what I was hoping to do or planning to do this episode, but that'll work. So let's get back to work here. So um, so that is the iron tank now that will store our liquid XP. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to craft, we need to craft a couple of items and they are called diamond spikes. So with these diamond spikes from extra utilities, Oh, that's kind of funny. Hmm. Let's just try bin extra utilities. Oh, I said spikes, didn't I? Spike. Okay, diamond spike. So these diamond spikes, they're kind of expensive. In fact, they're very, very expensive. <laughs> but we only need four of them, and from this one re recipe we do get four. And apparently, it's my understanding that these diamond spikes, the mo you can push the mobs into the spikes. The spikes will kill the mobs, but they will drop both their loot and their XP. And then we can use the um, advanced item collector, like we do, like we're currently doing right now with our um, cactus farm. We can craft another one of those. We can use that guy to pick up the loot, and then we can use the um, liquid XP collector to collect the liquid XP and pipe it over to our iron tank. So this is going to be awesome if this actually works. I've not tested this, but in theory it sounds like it should work. So let's go ahead and get busy crafting this guy. It's really expensive. It's these golden spikes that are quite interesting because we need four mag or three magical wood. And to get this magical wood, we need a bookshelf, four gold, and the four enchanted books. It's a really strange recipe. So let's go ahead and get started because we're going to need... I calculated out, I think we're going to need... Well, we're going to need 12 enchanted books and three bookshelves. So let's go ahead and get busy with the bookshelves. So we've got our sugar cane. And that'll give us... 15 books. I've got some leather as well. And that'll give us. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to need a lot more material than I thought. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Definitely going to need a lot more paper. So let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch more. So we need seven more of these guys. And then that will give us enchanted books right so that'll give us enough for the enchanted books and then we basically just need three more books good thing I have more cows over there so I'm gonna need more leather that's pretty much wiped us out of leather okay so I think have I done the math right? I think so. No. <laughs> no, because I need uh, <laughs> I need three bookshelves, not one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. There. Okay. Look at that, I'm gonna be short. I am, aren't I? Yep, I'm gonna to be too short, so I gotta go slaughter me some cows. 
Okay, cows, here I come. Just close your eyes. This will be quick. All right, cows. You. And how many did I get? Four. You. Am I not? I'm not getting any leather. I'm not getting any leather. You're kidding. Huh. Okay. Is that enough now? Yes. My goodness. Hey. Come here, you. No free beef jerky. We need all the food we can get. Okay. Good. Um. So let's go ahead and finish this up real quick. Um, is that going to be enough now? Hope so. Okay, there we go. Um, very good. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Wow. Well, Okay, let's do it this way. And then, uh, whatever. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired today, so I'm not thinking quite as clearly as I'd like to. But this'll work. Okay, so we've got our three. Let's go down and do some simple enchants. Oh, and those books. And then hopefully that'll give us what we need. Um, oh, do I have to do it barehanded? Is that right? Probably. Yeah. We'll just do... I don't think it really re even matters um, what we put on there. I don't believe. Right? What is that? Wait a minute. Enchanting cost. Player level 12. Enchanting cost. Oh. Is that right? I just did, wanted to do one level on chance. Can I do that? What would just give me one? So it doesn't even look like I can do just one level. Yeah. Hmm. Lure? Eight. Flame? Wow. Well, okay, so it looks like sharpness one is going to cost two. Feather falling? Two. Okay, so we'll enchant. So it's going to cost. Let's just do as many. Well, I don't know if I can do more than one at a time. And I can't stack them. All right, let's some, put some stuff down. Make some room. And. Uh, this is taking a bit longer than I, than I thought it would. Sorry. I hope I have enough experience to get these enchanted. Um, okay, let's get going. Um, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. I thought for a minute it wasn't going to let me do anything else, but it was just because it remembers the compatibility of what's on each item and 
only allows you to enchant what you're allowed to enchant, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So, we ran out of space. So let's go ahead and craft one of those guys. So what was it again? It was this guy in gold. Oh, okay, so I need a bunch of gold. Let's grab what gold I have here, right? Okay, good. Once again, what's the recipe? Okay, so we need a bookshelf, four enchanted books. For gold. Excellent. And yeah, let's go ahead and do another one real quick, free up some more space. Excellent. And then we need three more books. Let's just go ahead and finish that up real quick. It's nice that it doesn't matter what the enchant is, just that it's an enchanted book. Um, oh, out of levels, so I need four more levels. Oh boy, this is going to be... Oh, I don't have enough. Oh. Okay, hmm. so close. Well, all right, that's fine. We can finish that up next time, so... Let's see. So yeah, we're 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 over 25 minutes into it, so that's totally fine. But you get the idea. I'll go ahead and um, do some killing off camera, get that experience that I need um, to craft the. You know, I only need four levels, right? So I can craft these next two books, get that third one there, and then um, once we've got the third magical wood, then it's just gold, right? And I've got. Plenty of gold. I think I need in total. I needed. Um, I need 15 more to finish it up. Right, nine for the block, six for the swords. So I have 15. I need 15. I have 41. So I have plenty of those. And then I need 15 diamonds. Though, once I have the golden spikes, I need 15 diamonds to finish up the recipe, and I have 18. So I have just enough material, in all honesty, to finish this up, which is going to be kind of nice. So then, if you can visualize, you've got your zombie spawner here. My idea is to create some conveyor belts, and as they spawn, then direct them to the edge here, and then over to the center, and then one block down will be the four spikes. And so they'll fall off onto the spikes, they'll then get killed, and then one block below the spikes will be the, the collectors that'll collect the items, and the liquid XP, and then um, using remote IO, we'll move them over to our base here. So that's the idea. Not, not. I don't think it's going to be that hard to do as long as that works as intended. So <laughs> we will be experimenting a little bit, and I hope um, that works. But in theory, it should work. So pretty excited about that. So okay, well, that's probably as far as we can go this episode. Like I said, I'll go off camera, do some killing, finish up those um, recipes. And then in the next episode, we'll pick up where we left off and um, go over to the zombie spawner and uh, start um, building out our mob trap over there so that we can start collecting some loots. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit slower than I had intended because of the, uh, the um, distraction over in the village. But uh, hey, you know, you're following along with what's going on in the series and... Uh, and I really appreciate you joining me for that kind of stuff. So thanks for joining me. Hope you had a good time. If you did, please do consider giving it a like. I'd really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow. And if you're not a current subscriber, please consider subscribing. You'll get notifications for free for when each episode gets released. And then you can join me next time. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks again. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye-bye.